What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Film Family. BG is joining us to talk about the new movie Angel Has Fallen with Gerald Butler. This is part three in the, I'm going to call it the, the Fallen. Has Fallen trilogy. <laughs> trilogy. And the Fallen uh, trilogy me personally, I like the first one. Mm-hmm. The second one was kind of pushing it. And the third one jumped off the cliff, in my opinion. <laughs> All right, so I mean, let's just get into this. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I think... A lot of people have seen how I felt about Godzilla. And, uh, you know, I didn't like that movie because I thought it was going to be good. Uh, I really wanted it to be, and I expected nothing from this movie. It was a little worse than I expected, so a little worse than nothing. But it's still not offensively bad. This movie knows what it is, which I at least appreciate. Uh, It is poorly (laughs) done, though. i got to say, I can't say anything besides this movie. It's just like edited, filmed, shot, acted all quite poorly. Yeah, I feel like this movie knew what like its target demographic was, and it said, "You know what? Let's just do the, that. Let's, <laughs> let's make sure they're happy, and that's all we have to care about." And um, yeah, after when you when you have a trilogy and you've done two other movies, you kind of know where which territories mm-hmm. like you and what territories you're big in. And I feel like they kind of cater towards that. Um, I didn't mind it as much because I really went in there expecting the worst, like really. Um, I didn't want to see this movie at all. I didn't even know it came out. Mm-hmm. I hadn't seen any um, teasers for it, luckily. Um, but I was—I w- wouldn't say I was pleasantly surprised. It's just—it seemed like a movie I'd watch on cable. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. that, I wouldn't have been mad at that I watched it. On cable. Did you see I the other two? Like, I was, yeah, I did. I was in theaters. Actually. Really? Yeah, I yeah, think so. I want to be mad if I saw this movie while I was going to sleep. I think, and it's not an insult. I know it sounds really bad. But I think there's so like movies. putting effort and going to the theater to see this was just. A lot oh my for god! This movie. No, I'd rather like <laughs> ride a bicycle to nowhere. <laughs> I've never been to bicycle in my life. It's like that, but like I, I, I don't know. Like I didn't like walk out of this movie like angry like I did with Godzilla. I just like kind of expected this. Well, that's you know? because also like, but it's similar to the Fast and Furious movie, Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, was, yeah. They, it knew what it was and what it was. Yeah, going I appreciate for. that. I mean, here's the thing though. This movie's action, and I obviously didn't like Hobbs and Shaw either, but this movie's action, like, it's the one thing I hoped was good, and I personally just didn't like it. I thought yeah. the gunplay was about as generic as you can get. I thought, like, just Gerard Butler, like, there were parts where I was like, okay, like, he's clearly, like, getting older, and he's mm-hmm. getting sick, or, or, you know, getting less physically, you know, peaked, and, you know, he's just, like, got to use his abilities now. And I've seen that a couple times before, but... Definitely kind of just better than this movie. I didn't. I just didn't think he was like. Seemed like he was capable. My issue is that the, this is not really a story that you can drag out. Like James Bond is a long lasting. Mm, like yeah, you would call it a yeah. saga, I guess. Yeah, saga. A saga. But that's something where you can put in the James Bond character into a different situation. Mm. This guy has to protect the president, yeah. and I'm pretty sure in the entirety of it, was it three different presidents? No, no. It was just two different presidents, right? Two, I think. I'm not sure. I just it's, not. But it's the same story, like, every time. There's not yeah. much you can do no, to honestly, switch it up. Honestly, and then they know? switch it. And this movie, speaking of Fast and Furious, pretty much went the eighth one's route and was like, well, now we just got to turn, like, the good guy's the bad guy. Like, you yeah, know, he's getting yeah. framed. It's yeah. not the same no, situation. That's a, no, it's exactly the same. Are you bit, kidding me? That's no, like, no, you've nailed the formula of, on the head. Well, no, in terms of story, it's not the same. But, like, in terms of, like, what it is, yeah. it's absolutely the synopsis same. Synopsis-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah synopsis-wise. Pretty, pretty similar. Synopsis-wise. Wow. Friend, yeah, yeah, with, yeah. Nah, with no extra context, it's identical. But yeah. here's the thing. Like, just to, if, if the story and stuff in this movie doesn't work, which I knew it wouldn't, like, I was just hoping the action did. And, like... If Christopher Nolan can blow up a hospital, this movie should be able to as well. You know, mm-hmm. it, it did. Well, they did. They just didn't do it well. <laughs> well, they tried. No, I mean, like, he blew up a <laughs> yeah, hospital. Yeah, yeah. They oh. took a computer program and yeah, made terrible yeah. CGI. There's not, it's not the same thing. But it's more expensive to blow up a yeah. hospital. I mean, did they expect people to see this movie? Yes. It was I think they, spec- uh, uh, they did a formula. Just blow up like, a hospital. This is a formula. The explosions <laughs> in this movie look yeah. so bad. Like, and when they're in the. The you know the forest and like Nick Nolte's like ah, I get the bomb and he's just pressing all these things. I was like, this is like that was like one of my favorite scenes though. It was I like Nick Nolte. So, yeah, he was really good. He was good in this movie. He saved the movie for me. Like, and I, I agree. I think he added a, a, almost a level of professionalism. And they have some really good actors in this, but that's that's a little mean to say. <laughs> it you, is. I but know what you mean like, like oh, it's a movie I was just now. not <laughs> expecting him to be in this. Yeah. and I also wasn't in to. Show that much emotion in there. I gotta say, the I, I don't know if he knew what movie he was in. <laughs> I, think he just came, <laughs> I think he just, I think he just I came think. to like a set. Was like, can I be in this one? It's like, yeah, Nick, come here. Yeah, no, I think, I think like acting. 
Nick Nolte actually has like a really interesting line. We were talking about this before. Like he's talking about like a soldier, and he's like, "Oh, once you become certain thing, they strip it away from you." And like, they, I was like, "Oh, this is sounding." And then like it just goes right back to like whatever it is this movie's about. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, could you come back? Interesting stuff." Like mm-hmm. no, but yeah, he, he no, was, was trying. Saying, so basically, the dialogue was like hinting at something, but it wasn't strong enough. It was hinting at something enough. far more interesting than th- what this movie was, yeah. which is kind of frustrating if you're like a viewer who wants a good script. And like there was one other time Nick Nolte said something too that was interesting. And the, here's the other thing is like it was like you know a pretty cliche thing it's like oh my dad left me oh dad I hate you and he's like no we're cool now but I was like but Nick Nolte never did anything to like he saved his wife and kids yeah that was for two seconds yeah really? but then like he got a teary eyed you know because he's like I, I think he always sure wanted to forgive yeah, his dad but it's I've heard so many times like, I never wanted you to have this life so I left you it's like could you have been a better father, Nick Nolte? Like, but see, that's uh, what Gerald Butler taught him because he told him, like, I have a wife and daughter and I'm still around. Yeah. And then they had that kind of that dramatic pause. Where this, like, is, yeah. this is what you uh, could become kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but like you're 60, you know? You're it's, too late. No. Yeah, it's too late. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. <laughs> but I, I'm going to talk. I like Gerald Butler. I think I actually like him in a lot of movies yeah. that he does. P.S. Um, I love you. Sorry? P.S. I love you. Oh, uh, okay. It's a romantic comedy. You guys yeah, I don't think you guys won't see it. I don't I think I've seen it. Watch you might get drunk. Uh, uh, I really liked him in Machine Gun Preacher, <laughs> which I don't think either of you have seen. No, it's a great it's movie. A good movie. Um, but the bad guy, the general, mm. what was his Danny name? Danny Houston. Danny Houston. Yeah. Every time, same role. Every movie, <laughs> like the X Men. This one, it, it's he plays the general. That is your friend. <laughs> That then betrays you. Good intentions. And the intentions like as soon as he came on screen, I was like, oh, you that's the that. bad guy. Yeah, you like, need 100% that. Yeah, guy. if you and like you know, Prince doesn't like that guy. I didn't have as big of a problem with him. No, he's a great I, actor. I just wish he would do something different. Here's my problem. It's, not, <laughs> it's probably not his fault. <laughs> the vice thing. president played by Tim Blake Nelson was such a bad character. Like, there's a line he has in this movie, and he's like, oh, "It's time to make America aggressive again." And then looks at a picture of George Washington. <laughs> that was my least favorite scene in this movie. Yeah, that was, that was really bad. <laughs> and I don't even think George Washington would have liked this movie. George, <laughs> George Washington. He's never seen a movie in his life. Uh, you know, that should show you. This goal. is something also that I kind of had, and this is going to be a little off topic. Yeah. I don't think we can have a short president. Because when he's not that tall of a guy, when he was standing at the podium, I thought Morgan Freeman. Gonna, no, not Morgan Freeman, the VP. Ooh, when he, he was president, he oh, became yeah. president after Morgan Freeman went into a coma. And I was mm. like, no, I, I, I couldn't do that. Let's, let's talk real quick about Morgan Freeman. What did you guys think about him? I mean, he's a great, he's like a phenomenal actor, actually, in, you know, some movies. And actually, he's one of those people who's weird because he's always a good actor. Like, he'll never turn into bad performance. But, like, he just picks such awful movies Any to be a part of. Yeah, it's like, like Samuel Jackson. It's a little bit, well, Samuel Jackson's different because he's in, like, a lot of movies. And he'll, he'll change his style to the yeah, movies. Yeah, that's he does why a lot of he's, movies. He's, though. like, an acting chameleon, which I appreciate. But, like, another example, I guess, is Robert De Niro, who's, like, a phenomenal actor, but mm-hmm. now he just picks such bad films. You, you don't know what the script looked like. It's weird, though. The it's script like, could have been incredible. Yeah. Man. And then all of a sudden... But, like, you, how can you, like... It, then the director did a bad job. Somebody yeah, did a bad job on this Someone dropped the ball, movie, but, you yeah. Know? And, I, by the way, I don't think the script is good because, you know, that line was... Time to make America aggressive. Again. I like Morgan Freeman in this movie. I thought he played the president very in a way, very presidentially, but also in a way that I think that's why a lot of people really liked Obama. Mm-hmm. Was it was a more of a personal type of, I don't want to say like a father son type of thing, but you know, like it's almost like a family member yeah. having a conversation. Yeah. And like when he sat down on the desk to talk to uh, Gerald Butler about and yeah, something, yeah. and I was like, I wish I could have a conversation like yeah. that. Like, I that'd be really mean. cool, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Here's here's the last thing I'll say is like. The final like shootout thing in this movie. By the way, the liquid nitrogen heating up idea that was actually a cool idea, mm-hmm. and it just kind of gets ditched, which was a little. Weird. No, it got blown up. What are you talking about? Yeah, no, I, I mean like <laughs> the importance of it. It seems like it loses importance like as the explosion gets ready. Like mm-hmm. I don't know how to explain it. it just, I thought it was less important, but um, the last level, or the last scene in this movie is kind of like the last level in Modern Warfare Three. Yeah, you know, where they go to the hotel to find Makarov, mm-hmm. except like it's not as you know cool or anything, but. It like it seemed like they were copying it, you know, but like not doing a, as good of a job. Got it. But you know, I don't know. That's just my one person sense. that we didn't talk about, and I wasn't expecting her to be in the movie. Jada Pinkett Smith. Yeah, Jada Pinkett. Smith. She was literally here to die, to be like, oh, yeah. he's bad. Yeah, he shot her. I, Look I, how bad I, he is. See, I didn't, I, I didn't like her character in the. I have a problem with height apparently because I also I wasn't very believable to have a 
FBI agent who's interrogating people but has to look up at him. I feel like that's not very oh, intimidating. This, this I, FBI saying, people. Yeah, <laughs> but I feel like that's not intimidating. Like if you come to the FBI and you're like much shorter than I am, I would be way less scared than if you were like well, two cult. feet taller than okay, me. Okay, you know but at the end of the day, uh, yeah, but okay, but all of that aside, I didn't know what the point of her character was. I think they she were was literally there to get shot and be like, "Oh, he's bad, bad." He yeah. <laughs> I, I, th- I think they needed a recognizable star, someone that yeah. He, that you would think never would have died. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, oh, she's going to be there till the end. Like, you know, because they, they implied that she was going to uncover something. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, it's like... I thought she was the bad guy. Like, I thought she was in on it at uh, one point because, of, like, she was so stern and hard yeah. with uh, Jerrell Butler. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I, wa- I definitely wasn't expecting her to die. And I felt like that was a waste of Jada Pinkett yeah, Smith. You I, know, I, and I, of that character. Like, you could have done something with that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't really have much else to say. There's one also... Another small thing. There's one shot in this movie where they like pan out and it edits and like cuts to the like you know crack of a door. It was a really badly edited shot, mm. and like a shot should not be so badly edited that I notice it. You know. Yeah, I um, noticed. I, I didn't want to say it, but I did. I noticed a lot of the rack, editing is pretty out of bad. Focus racking. Kind yeah, of thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, they did this weird thing where they were like do hyper focus on people's faces and like yeah. jump out, but it yeah, was like it, it didn't look like good not to me. Being able to focus, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, let's because there's like, just, there's like that narrow yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like just you know, but there's and like we'll, American Sniper. I was just gonna say really quick, there's like American Sniper and Lone Survivor, pretty recent yeah. movies that had like military things. They were like shot way better in terms yeah. of like just the action and everything. But Definitely. anyway, yeah, what do I give this movie? Uh, again, this movie like never did anything to make me mad. Uh, and I actually laughed quite a bit. I, me and Taj had some good laughs. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd give this movie, I guess, a five. Like, I know so many people are going like, to be like mad that I gave Godzilla a lower rating in this movie. And I'd say, like, on a film level, like, objectively, they're probably about the same. Godzilla might be even better. But, like, just in terms of how I felt, I'd say Godzilla just made me more angry than this movie. Hmm. Okay. I would be a little, I would give it a six again, Here's, just yeah. because. It's not a great movie, but you're it's un, it's not boring to watch, you know. I wouldn't see it in theaters though. I would never yeah. see this movie ever again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would you give it? I'd give it a six. I'm gonna go six point five, just because I feel like I do like when movies do follow up, and there's the you know the, they tried for a trilogy, you know, like that's the thing. <laughs> I, I respect that. You know, they got all the people together. Well, you know, that's, Leprechaun got like six sequels. I've seen every one of them, by the way. I don't know if you know that, yeah. but fun fact. Hey, some, yeah, some movies deserve <laughs> <ones. Okay. laughs> some but, movies deserve. Some. But it's like it's knowing your audience, and you know maybe this might be for you. Maybe you're a big um, Angels Fallen or the Fallen series <laughs> fan. Let us know. <laughs> yeah, let us know what you thought of this movie. How did you feel about that line and the way he looked at George Washington? Because that was pretty bad. Uh, and you know, just overall, let us know what you thought of this movie, and uh, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.